jackals. I like bitches and my You speak Spanish?
Where is the shopping center? Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are going to come down here and rip my head off. It's ri ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we going to do? Shut up. Sit down. Relax. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my hand out the door. No I way, I told not you, shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beard strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who's that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with him? I like this shirt.
Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can let low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drop, brother. This is Hit Radio Love Media Station. Just one of 900 radio stations. 300 TV stations. Four network. Three satellites. Ten senators. Thank you. Thank you. Hit Radio. Thank you. Thank you. You're listening to Head Radio, the rock of Liberty City for 60 years. DJ Michael. Understand how important this next movement is to me. Morgan Merriweather. Double Clef FM. place right here. Let's get off the street and find a danger close. I know this guy. He's connected. His name is Luigi. Me and him go back so I can probably get this to work. Come on, let's head over here. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Paul's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here.
big butt. Hi, I'm Nancy. Listen to Lord Sims. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your... I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty bangs and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else, he's not thinking of marriage back. you a nice little place to stay. This is it, Tony. Home sweet home. Beautiful, ain't she? This shithole is supposed to be my home? Oh, I think it's very you. Now you're disrespecting old Vincenzo. Now, tough guy, get your ass upstairs and go put on some decent clothes. I don't got all day, so move. Oh, 
Hey, apartments cost money, Tony. Just you remember who pays the bills around here. Me, Daddy Vincenzo over here. So from now on, you work for me. So I better see you back here real soon. <laughs>